Happy holidays, Troop 399. Happy holidays. I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, now, I don't know if you're aware, but there's kind of been a global pandemic uh, with COVID-19 going around here and there, or as the hipsters like to call it, coronavirus. Huh, coronavirus. Um, now, we may be quite young as Boy Scouts, but that doesn't mean that there's a 0% chance of us getting the virus, or God forbid, you know. For that reason, the Troop Instruction channel has decided to make a Troop Instruction video by the Troop Instructors about instruction. No, I mean about coronavirus and uh, some ways you can, you know, mitigate the chances of you getting it. Uh, these are tips you may already know. If you don't, that's, that's okay. We all learn at different paces. I've had to, you know, teach myself that as an instructor. Uh, now, but enough from me. Uh, we're going to cut to foes on shortly. But first, uh, here's this epilepsy intro he made. Assalamu alaikum guys, Fozan from the instructor team here. I'm going to be telling you guys about the outbreak of COVID-19. So the outbreak that we are experiencing right now involves the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. COVID-19 is a coronavirus, meaning it's a ball of genetic material that's encased in fat and it targets the respiratory system. The coronavirus has an incubation period of about a week, meaning you can get the coronavirus from someone who isn't even symptomatic yet. It spreads through respiratory droplets ejected through coughing and sneezing. These droplets travel far and can have coronavirus living in it for days after expulsion from the body on many different surfaces. Symptoms include fever, coughing, and shortness of breath. The coronavirus seems to be targeting mostly the elderly and those with pre-existing conditions, but that does not mean younger people cannot be affected either. There have even been cases of people under the age of 18 being infected, and I don't want to tell you how those went because they sucked. They died, I think. The coronavirus is known for its unpredictability when it advances in its stages. Those who enter its advanced stages will be hospitalized and put on a ventilator. Even at this stage, patients need to be closely monitored because fluid can build up in the lungs very quickly. As the fluid builds up, the air sacs in their lungs get encased in this sticky liquid, and it greatly impairs their breathing because carbon dioxide and oxygen cannot go in and out of the body. So why should we care? Well, there are two main reasons I can think of on the top of my head. First, your family members, especially grandparents, even your own parents, and most importantly, you, are vulnerable to this disease. So if you want anyone in your family getting infected, then you can just stop social distancing and go outside. Everybody else who wants to survive the apocalypse can stay inside and question everyone who comes to your door. Secondly, you've got to look at the big picture. Because the coronavirus is spreading so quickly, hospitals can quickly become overwhelmed. There are not a lot of ventilators and hospital beds available in the United States right now compared to what the projections are for the coronavirus spread. That means that if you don't social distance, a lot of the coronavirus cases that require hospitalization are going to happen at a very short time period. And that means hospitals won't have enough capacity to fit all of those patients and they're going to have to choose who's going to die. But if we do what's called flattening the curve by social distancing, the amount of cases will not go down by the end of the outbreak, but they will be spread out so that each victim can get the utmost quality and care and they can have the best chance of surviving. Salam Scouts. So, um, this is Rayon here. So there are two main ways that we can actually stop the coronavirus. Um, the biggest one is actually social distancing, and the second one is actually washing your hands. Um, if you don't know what social distancing means, it's um, avoiding any unnecessary interactions with people like outside of your household. Um, it means staying in your house for as long as you can and leaving for as few times as you need to. Like um, The only reason that you should be leaving your house is actually for... Um, necessities such as gas maybe groceries money medicine anything that you find is essential to you and um as fozan said uh flattening the curve you should do your part to flatten the curve by staying home if you will go outside make sure that you stay at least six feet away from other people that's that's also what social distancing is and um washing our hands is the second part and that's um i'd say about as equal to social distancing there's actually a video on how to wash your hands uh that has soap portrayed um by black paint so i'll plug that video in right now
So if I'm being completely honest, I know half of you guys don't even wash your hands for more than 10 seconds, but uh, it's just a habit that you guys should get into. Um, it's very important that you wash your hands because if we came in contact with anything outside that may have c traces of corona, um, it can survive for, like, phosons that it can survive on objects for a long time. Um, we can kill we can kill the germs and the bacteria that we come in contact with if we wash our hands properly. Um, make sure that you also sanitize things that you touch after coming from outside. Maybe like car door handles, maybe your front doorknob. Um, you know, if you take your mailbox, uh, make sure you sanitize that too because you know you don't know who touched it. So um, that's it for me. And now uh, Mustafa is doing the outro. Listen, we understand quarantine is no fun. Neither are any of these safety precautions for that matter. But there's a lot to be thankful for. We've got a roof over our heads, we've got our families, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We've still got slack, we can still talk to each other. And we've all got food on our plate, so... So yeah, it could be a lot worse, if you think about it. Um, and though we don't know when the quarantine will end, there is one thing we do know for sure. And that's that Trump is gonna destroy the election this November. Wait! That's not good news! Oh, who thought that would cheer anyone up? Oh, no!